frightening moments near Denver East High School this afternoon as gunshots leave two boys injured. Witnesses tell Denver 7 the shooting happened about 4 this afternoon just outside the Carla Madison Rec Center. This is East Colfax and Josephine Street. Denver 7 CB Cotton is live tonight hearing from one witness who rushed to help one of the boys who'd been shot. Jessica, witnesses tell me the shooting happened just behind me here at the Recreation Center. At this hour, we don't know the condition the teens are in, but you can imagine how terrifying this was for the people who work along East Colfax as those gunshots rang out. Scary, scary moments, but many here acted so bravely running from their businesses to attend to the injuries they saw. Wednesday afternoon, concerned parents wait and watch for their child to exit the doors of East High School. The lockdown has been lifted, but anxiety lingers. You go to school to, to learn, not to deal with stuff like this. Around 4 p.m., Denver police say two teen boys were shot just a short walk from the school in front of the Carla Madison Recreation Center. A fight broke out and one boy was body slammed by another and then, you know, fighting. Shelly Martinez works in a barber shop across the street and witnessed the commotion. She says some adults broke up the fight, but moments later, gunfire. Boom, 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 you know, like that. And um, we saw a, a little a boy uh, fall to his knees and um, we just the whole staff, including our clients and everything, ran out there to assist the, the juvenile. Uh, I took his shirt off and hold pressure on his face until the ambulance got there. But there there was a client of ours who was actually a doctor that was there with me. So we were attending to him. Martinez grateful to have a doctor's help during the chaos. There was no exit wound. It was just right right in the cheek right here. Got shot in the face. Now she hopes others can heal from the horror and hurt that unfolded. This gun violence type of stuff needs to stop. Yeah, it's too much. In a letter sent home to parents of students at East High School, the principal said additional support will be made available to students who need it following this scary incident. I also want to note that at this hour, Denver police say no arrests have been made, but they're asking anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting live tonight, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.